Greg Lee, formerly of this parish now, heads out to, to Oxford United. And I can't, I can't lie to you. I'm a bit sad about this. Um, I was always a big fan of Greg Lee. Uh, and obviously, you know, he started last season playing that one-two punch. He'd, he'd come in as a closer, if you like, for Leith Davis. Then he had the injury with the, the broken leg. Then he returned. But he was always, whenever I saw him play, he was always tremendous, I thought, for town. Always gave his best. Um, and I just loved him as a character. So I just feel a bit sad about this, Stu. How about you? Yeah, you're not the only one. I think that seems to be the... the um general consensus from from Ipswich fans with Greg leaving. I'm not sure I've seen this sort of um, outpouring of emotion for a player leaving that ultimately only started three league games in a single season yeah. for Ipswich. Um, but yeah, you're right. He, um, he, he started the season, like you say, being a vital role in the early stages while Leif Davis slightly jet-lagged after he'd just arrived off the plane from Australia pre-season with Leeds and took him took him a few games to to kind of get up to, to speed, someone who hadn't played a, a great deal of senior football. And, and Greg Lee, his role sort of coming off the bench for retiring Leif Davis shouldn't be underestimated in those early stages. Um, and then when he came back from that leg fracture, um, <clears throat> played some some little vital roles along the way, some vital contributions. I think the, <clears throat> excuse me, the main one, most notable one would have been at Derby, um, where he kept Nathaniel Mendes Lang really quiet in that 2 0 win towards the back end of the season. Um, the cup games against Burnley as well, uh, off the pitch as well, I think sort of added to Greg's uh, popularity. The, the piano playing left back is his yeah. uh, voice of an angel singing uh, during the promotion celebrations and various uh, TikTok videos and stuff like that, uh, and just seemed to be a really a bit like Carl Edwards, a really smiley, happy guy that sort of interacted with with fans. I know there's there's posts from people who were mascots alongside Greg and uh, had met him at various signing sessions as, and stuff like that, and just said what mm. what a nice guy he was. So, um, yeah, always a shame when when somebody like that leaves. But um, no room for sentiment in football. It's which trying to move on and move on at a pace. Um, and the reality is that they're trying to sort of. Um, upgrade in, in certain areas, not just in the first team, but um, you're just, just below it as well. So um, things move on. Greg, Greg Lee's gone and Brandon Williams is in. Mm. Yeah, curse of Heath strikes again. Before the season, I did a piece listing players who could be stars in the championship. And obviously I listed all the obvious ones. I threw a couple of more left field ones in at the end just to get people talking. First one, Panucci Kamara, now on loan at Charlton. Second one, Greg Lee, now no longer at the start in the club. Fantastic. Great work, Keith. Um, AJ, Greg Lee, I know you haven't probably haven't seen a lot of him, um, but your thoughts on his exit? I suppose it was inevitable, wasn't it, when, when once Brandon Williams was in the building? Yeah, I think there's kind of a, a few players that fall into that category where it's the same with Carl Edwards, really, isn't it? Where they want to go and play regular football. It's what's yeah. going to be best for their careers. And that's not going to be the case at town. So I think it's a, a mutually beneficial deal because it allows him to go play at Oxford. Oxford, who I think will be towards the top end of League One this season after a pretty torrid time uh, last season. But under um, Liam Manning, that's the one, isn't it? Uh, you know, they play such an attractive brand of football. They have signed really well so far this summer. I think they'll definitely be towards the top of the division, if not kind of in that top two, top six hunt for sure. I think it's a really good move for him uh, on a personal level. I think he really suits it with his kind of athletic style and mm. the way that he likes to play. It, it does benefit him. Um, and ultimately, it allows Town to then go and, and bring someone else in who can then cover on that side, who comes in with a lot more kind of experience at a higher level, which will benefit the club. So I think it is a win-win. I think that it just, it helps Lee to, to kickstart his career at another club that really, I think, are going to go places as well. And it means that Town just have a little bit of something different as well. When you look at kind of Williams' style with his aggression and his very kind of solid defending, I, I think that it, it's a different style and a different route for the club. Mm, yeah, I really hope Greg... Um finds a solid starting spot at Oxford and, and excels because uh, I, I just really like him as a player. I love watching him. Um, so fingers crossed for him going forward and best wishes from all of us, of course. He's got a battle he's... on his hands there as well because I think Kieran Brown is one of one of their better players. He's started mm. the season quite well at, at left back. So he's um, 
he's backed himself to to go there and get in the team. I think you're right, Liam Manning and the style of play will will suit him. Um, and we'll always have the Barnsley post Barnsley celebrations as well, and that whole subplot about the game getting yeah. called off because of his ghost call up for Jamaica, and then um, Ipswich kind of uh, they knew what they were doing, didn't they? Social media yeah. to and throwing wasn't there and stuff. So that was that was good fun, wasn't it? 